thank you, Sarah, so much for that introduction. And thank you, everybody, for joining today, wherever you are in this world. So as Sarah mentioned today, we're going to go over what's new in our SOLIDWORKS education portfolio for the 2020-2021 release. Uh, this year is something completely new over previous years. We're really excited now to present to you our 3D experience platform portfolio for schools. And this is an online platform allowing you to collaborate seamlessly with your students and also students collaborating with themselves together, like on student projects and such. And the big benefit is that the, you can access the platform from uh, anywhere, anytime, from any device. So that's what we'll be describing the majority of the day today for the webinar over the next 40 minutes or so, is our new 3D Experience platform offer. A bit of agenda, we'll start off with our desktop product update, go through with the 3D Experience platform portfolio, which again is new this year for schools. We'll talk about certification program, uh, online training with My SolidWorks, and we'll end with curriculum. So looking at our SolidWorks Education Edition, this is what we refer to as our desktop portfolio. No big change over previous years. You still have access with the SolidWorks Education Edition to our entire suite of SolidWorks desktop products. Obviously, SolidWorks Premium, which is our 3D CAD flagship software, but you still have access to all the other products you see here, simulation, plastics, electrical, cam, uh, visualize for those great renders, and uh, access to My SolidWorks for your students, for them to access and unlock loads of training content. We're talking like over a thousand hours of training content, and you can still purchase SolidWorks PCB for an additional cost. The one small change from previous years to this year is that now SolidWorks Composer is included in that same Education Edition serial number. So one serial number for SolidWorks Education Edition licenses everything you see here. Other than that, no change over previous years, uh, just that Composer is now included. To help guide you through what's new in our 2020-2021 release, we have a new website, and that can be, um, uh, be found at solidworks.com slash edu launch. And there you have quick links to uh, connect with our uh, inside sales to buy SolidWorks desktop or even buy the 3D experience platform. You also have links to learn about the new content that I'll go over today as part of the 3D experience platform, what roles and apps you have access to. And then you can also look on this website to see the, the new features in SolidWorks desktop 2020 release. Which, you'll have, which is what this uh, presentation is about. So again, that's solidworks.com slash edu launch. Okay, so now into the exciting part, the 3D experience platform. Well, what is this 3D experience platform? It's a suite of apps and tools for schools, educators, and their students to collaborate seamlessly from anywhere, any device, anytime. And I'll say the words collaborate many times throughout this webinar, because that is the, the power of the 3D Experience platform. It's one location that now has everything that you need as, as an educator. So why are we doing this? Like, what is the 3D Experience platform? Why are we doing it now? Well, we've realized as we talk to schools and teachers that they have told us that they need to adapt. And that's because the way teaching has evolved not only the way that teachers want to educate and teach their students, but also with how students want to be taught and want to consume that information from their instructors. And two main drivers of this evolution is collaboration, right? Students want to collaborate with their students, especially on, on student projects uh, from any device. Uh, they don't want to be tied to their, their, their SOLIDWORKS desktop or PC computer lab in their school. They want to be able to take everything home and do things from, from home as well um, beyond the, and outside the classroom, right? So the way they collaborate has changed. And also the emergence of touch and mobile devices has really fueled this, hey, I want to collaborate and, and work on my projects anywhere, anytime from any device. Um, and that's what the platform allows you to do. You can use your Microsoft Surface, your Chromebooks, your, your MacBooks, your iMacs, even your smartphones and iPads to access the platform and continue working just like you're at school. And that's actually brings me to, to this next slide, which is um, 
uh, something that we're all going through globally right now with this global crisis and pandemic. Um, it's, it's changed the way schools teach. They also need to, to be smarter about their spending. And both of those drivers uh, led to the virtual classrooms that you see today with, with all the Zoom meetings and such. And having a fully online uh, uh, tool for educators to teach and students to learn with the 3D Experience platform allows you, allows you to operate a virtual classroom. And we'll go over how you can do that today. And as we do talk to our, our current customers of what they're looking for, well, what we hear the most that they struggle with is teachers of today struggle with disconnected data. They have an email tool to send all their emails and their students sometimes email them questions or assignments um, and deliverables. And that then is disconnected from their other online cloud storage or maybe from their syllabus or curriculum uh, or what, uh, what, what projects are due and when they're due by. So all of, these, all of this data is disconnected. So what we hear the most from our customers is that the teachers of tomorrow want a single streamlined connected solution. All of my content, all my apps, all my tools in one easy to use place. And that's the 3D Experience platform. I think this next slide sums it up pretty well. So the platform is everything that you need all in one simple, easy to use place, same user interface, so it's really easy to master. You have your 3D CAD, obviously, which is, you know, we're a 3D software company. So 3D CAD uh, is a big component of the platform, but it's so much more than just CAD. You have your online messaging tools like Slack and Skype. You have your project management tools like Trello and Microsoft Teams. You've got your online dedicated storage like your Google Drives, your Dropbox, your OneDrives. And all of this is wrapped up in a very easy to use social media style setting. So all of these items are all included in the 3D Experience platform. Uh, you no longer have to figure out where that email is, who do I need to send that to? Um, my student is asking this question here, how do I respond there? It's all in one place. So let's address the question right out of the bag. Is SolidWorks CAD going away? And the answer is absolutely not. No, 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 SolidWorks CAD's not going away. What the platform allows you to do is it allows your students to collaborate outside the classroom, beyond the computer lab, so they're no longer tethered to those, those big computers in the computer lab. Uh, it provides features and workflows beyond SOLIDWORKS CAD capabilities, which we'll go over a lot today, and we're excited about those advanced capabilities. But you still have the best of both worlds at your fingertips. You can take your curriculum that you've already established in SOLIDWORKS Desktop, bring that into the platform, use the advanced features of the platform, bring it back to SOLIDWORKS CAD seamlessly using the, the SOLIDWORKS connector that we'll talk about. So SOLIDWORKS CAD isn't going away uh, and you still have the best of both worlds at your fingertips. So some of the main highlights of the, uh, the 3D Experience platform. Well, it unites educators and students onto a single framework, a single network, for more innovation and improved collaboration. So if you're all there talking together with these uh, the communities that, that I'll show you, um, everything happens in real time and the innovation and speed at which ideas can become reality uh, is greatly uh, accelerated. With the platform, we provide apps to design, refine, organize, manage, and most importantly, collaborate on data, on your content, all in real time. We have notifications, so when, if you're a teacher, you post something to the community or, or mention a student, the student receives a notification, just like you do in Facebook. They can go to the community, see what you just mentioned, maybe an update about the class or the project. They can comment there, you can see their comment, you get a notification, all happens in real time. And because you're no longer tethered to your school's computer lab, your students can innovate, collaborate, and create those great designs anytime, anywhere, from any device, whenever the inspiration hits. And as I mentioned before, this is now Macs and tablets, Chromebooks, all of your smartphones. Um, you can use the platform and access all of your content and even 3D modeling tools all from the browser. And because it's all in the cloud, again, the platform is all in the cloud, there is zero installation and no extra IT efforts. So you don't have to spend loads of money on annual upgrades for your IT budget or try to manage um, loads of updates or re multiple releases a year. Because it's all in the cloud, 
There's no, uh, no need for updating. We do all the updates for you. It all happens instantaneously for you. Um, and there's zero installation um, and an extra IT efforts involved. And what does all of this help you do? Well, especially in today's global crisis, it allows you to ensure a continuity of learning throughout the global crisis, allowing you to future-proof your investment, which is your student's education. So as we dive into the platform, there are two main aspects of the platform, roles and apps. Now a role is an industry standard title that somebody may have in the workplace after graduation, such as a designer, engineer, simulation expert, marketer, artist, project planner. So a role is a collection of apps that help that person complete their tasks faster and with more precision. And an app is an individualized task or tool needed by somebody to successfully complete their job. So that's the main, uh, the main um, aspects of the platform. You have roles and apps, and that then drives uh, your experience. So what are these building blocks of the 3D Experience platform? Well, I already went over roles and apps, so that's what it looks like as a screenshot of the platform. And the next building block of the platform are dashboards. So you click on your roles to access your apps, then you can drag and drop your apps into a dashboard to create your customized 3D experience interface. So I have a quick video to describe this for you uh, as we create a new dashboard from scratch. You can see I, I clicked on the compass which showed me my roles and apps. I dragged over a web page reader over to my dashboard tab, which just happens to be uh, my, my alma mater of University of Cincinnati. I'm creating other tabs that you see there, one for communities, one for X design. I found my X design app, dragged it over to my dashboard tab of called X design. Now I'm dragging over my online cloud storage called 3D space. So I can have my uh, cloud storage and my, my design apps all in one tab of my dashboard. Now flashing forward to a dashboard I've already created with my homepage, my communities here. This is where you can keep your students updated with uh, uh, up-to-date information for your class. You can manage students, which we'll go over a little bit later. You can upload your curriculum or syllabus. You uh, can uh, have project tracking and cloud storage. So you can customize your dashboard and tabs infinitely, depending on whatever you'd like to see. You can also have multiple dashboards. You can have a dashboard per class, um, a, a dashboard per project, and then you can easily share that dashboard with all of your students at once, or maybe individual tabs you can easily share with your students. So having the roles, finding your apps, dragging the apps to create your dashboard, that's the 3D Experience platform. It's completely customizable to whatever your needs are. So here are the main platform areas. We have the compass, which is in the upper left. Again, clicking on that navigates throughout your roles and apps. And if you click the world icon there, that actually then takes you to our entire 3D experience portfolio to see what roles and apps beyond what you've already purchased are available. So again, Compass shows you your roles and apps. You drag your apps into your dashboard. You saw how we created tabs of our dashboard. Again, you can just click the little plus to add a tab, drag over whatever widget, whatever app you want to use. And then there's a social collaboration uh, icons up in the upper right, allowing you to update your profile. You can see the notifications instantly, you know, all that real-time collaboration. Uh, you can access your communities, you can share content with everybody, uh, and you can also access your online storage. So that's the platform in a nutshell, using roles and apps to create your dashboard, to create your customized experience. Now, we're not just going to give you the platform and then say, good luck. No, that's, that's not what we do. We want to help you out. So when you purchase the platform, you have a preloaded default dashboard that comes up right away as soon as you log into the platform for the first time. On this, uh, this default dashboard, we have a few tabs to help you get started, minimize any learning curve. There's really uh, simple, easy videos to watch and follow along to get started with the 3D Experience platform more technical videos for you to take deeper dives into the roles and apps that you have just purchased. There's also a tab here for your students to participate in challenges, so individual student challenges or team challenges. 
And then the last tab there, joining communities. That is where we have two dedicated communities, one for students and one for teachers and educators to provide technical support from uh, our, our dedicated technical support teams for the platform. So again, this is your first view of the, of the platform when you purchase it. You have this nice default dashboard ready to help you out along your journey. So now let's look at the 3D experience packaging for education. Again, these are um, roles that schools can purchase. So the backbone of the platform is called the Collaborative Business and Industry Innovator. And on top of that, you can then add your, uh, the roles that I'll go over right now for education. But you always have that Collaborative Business and Industry Innovator role, which has several apps inside that we'll discuss in a little bit. So on top of the, the, the backbone of the platform, we have three packages. The first one I'd like to talk about today is called 3D Designer for Education. That's gonna be the, the, the main um, uh, time that we spend today on this webinar is gonna be about 3D Designer for Education. I'll touch on the other two packages a little bit later. So this role actually launched at the end of last year. It's available now to purchase. Definitely talk to your, your local SolidWorks uh, reseller to learn more information on that. Before we dive into what's included, just an overview. So 3D Designer is, is for, it's our next gen browser-based CAD modeling tools, preparing the engineers of tomorrow. So these are schools, uh, 3D designers for schools that want to connect their students onto a single network, a single framework, have that collaboration all in real time, and ultimately providing you with virtual classrooms. They wanna be able to teach on any device, Chromebooks, Macs, tablets, and much more, um, all in the cloud, zero installation, and no extra IT efforts. That's 3D Designer. So what's included inside 3D Designer? Well, I mentioned the backbone of the platform. So within the Collaborative Business Innovator, this is all of your dashboards, your communities, your cloud storage, web links, web notes, and much more. This unites all of your students together to have those improved communications and much faster design cycles. So it speeds up project uh, the development for sure. The next backbone of the platform is called Collaborative Industry Innovator. This is a collection of apps that provide uh, apps and tools to organize, manage, and collaborate on content all in real time. This is gonna be a lot of your, uh, your product data management and lifecycle management apps, which helps to instill best practices from, in, from the industry directly to your students, helping prepare them for the real world, because you have to do life cycle management after you graduate. So it's really good to instill those best practices uh, throughout education. Next up, we have our first browser-based 3D modeling app from SolidWorks called XDesign. This is very similar to SolidWorks uh, CAD, SolidWorks Desktop, where you have sketches, extrudes, fillets, lofts, shells, and so much more, your parametric modeling tools. But this comes with design guidance powered by artificial intelligence. And we'll talk about the benefits of that uh, in a moment. Another browser-based 3D modeling app from SolidWorks is called XShape. And this is your 3D subdivision or sub-D modeling, which isn't included in SolidWorks Desktop. All right, so this allows you to create your swoopy organic shapes much faster and easier than, uh, than trying to create it in Desktop. Uh, and it's really intuitive to use with this push-pull interface to help sculpt your geometry. It's really, really easy to use. I mentioned this before, but 3D Designer and, and the platform uh, roles for education come with what we're calling is the, the SolidWorks connector. This allows you to connect SolidWorks desktop and the 3D experience platform to communicate bilaterally in either direction. Like I mentioned, you could have your curriculum already created in SolidWorks desktop. Don't worry, it's not all lost. You can easily upload that to the platform and then take advantage of XDesign and XShape with those advanced features. Um, and then you could even go back to SolidWorks Desktop if you want, so you, it communicates in both directions. And finally, rounding out the roles and apps included in 3D Designer for Education is an app called Project Planner. This is one of my favorite ones from this collection of apps. It's super easy to use task planning, execution, and monitoring uh, for students and educators. 
It's a must have for student projects and it allows students to never be late for an assignment again because they can always see when something is due, what task needs to be done next, uh, and so on. But it's, it's super easy to use and will help your, your students stay on task. So what does the packaging for 3D Designer for Education look like? Well, there it is in the snapshot. Those are all the roles and apps that you have access to as part of 3D Designer. And it's sold in five pack sizes. 10 pack, 30, 100, 300, and 900. And it's important to note that those are named users. So it's not like a SOLIDWORKS floating license where you buy a 200 seat SOLIDWORKS and then you can have more than 200 students use it. These are named users, so one-to-one. -one. So if you have a, a class of 90 students, best to buy the 100 pack. And then you can have each of those 90 students have their own login for the platform. And then once you do access the platform, you're already familiar with roles and apps. But there you have 3D Designer, which is a role that you purchased, on top of the two main roles, uh, the backbone of the platform, which is Collaborative Business Innovator and Collaborative Industry Innovator. And then clicking on those roles will show you the apps below. So the first of several videos I have queued up goes over our 3D Swim communities. This is like your Facebook style news feeds where you can update your class with announcements, latest news, what homework is due, you can post um, uh, uh, ideas as well. So let's say there is a student project, that a team project you guys are working on. You can use the idea pipeline here, here to have your students upload their own ideas and inspiration, and then figure out which ones you'd like to move through this funnel, as I call it, to figure out which, which one you'd like to, uh, to spend the time on or to, to, uh, to have as your area of a focus for the project. You can also have a quick surveys to survey your students to get some, uh, you know, some feedback. But the 3D Swim communities, this is key to the platform. This is your real-time collaboration. You'll see how you can post to your 3D Swim community directly from uh, 3D Play, X Design, X Shape to get feedback from the team or from your students, especially helpful for those team projects. Next up is X-Design. Like I mentioned, this is very similar to SOLIDWORKS Desktop. You've got very easy sketching tools. We've made a, loads of improvements to make uh, sketching much, much faster since that's at the core of parametric modeling. Dimensions are super easy. Um, uh, uh, extruding features, all, all of that stuff is, is very easy as well. Uh, adding these sketches here, reference geometry, just clicking and dragging to create the radiuses of sketches, all really easy to, to do. You can actually have super features as well, where you have an extrude cut and extrude thin and, and uh, other features all in one feature, which is cool. Um, this is showing design guidance powered by artificial intelligence. So I created a, a, a part here in, in XDesign. I added a load to it and then let design guidance take over. And artificial intelligence said, this is the most optimum part that is the lightest but is the strongest for the loads that you've specified. So then I, I think this is a, a bracket for a recumbent bicycle. So then I could take this blue geometry here, use it as reference geometry to then either design back in XDesign or maybe export and open up in SOLIDWORKS Desktop to design my part there. But again, this is using um, uh, artificial intelligence, which can come up with ideas more than you know, my simple human mind can. Next up is the other cloud modeling tool called XShape from SOLIDWORKS. This is super easy to use. Push, pull, use those, um, uh, group select those control points and just move those surfaces around. Really easy to create those organic shapes that would take you a lot longer to, to create that in SOLIDWORKS desktop. But I can also add creases and sharp angles and really customize my shape just by pushing and pulling those control points. Then once I get to a shape that I, you know, I'm pretty happy with, I can, as you see right here, take a screenshot of it, post it directly to my community to get feedback from the rest of the team or from the class. So students could then use X Shape or X Design, create their parts, take that little screenshot that you saw, post to your class's community uh, to submit homework like that even as well. Next up is 3D Play. This is your online reviewing tool for 3D models and so much more. You can actually view PowerPoints and PDFs in 3D Play. 
Um, here we're just showing you can rotate the model around, add annotations, make some comments. Uh, you can then take a screenshot of it as you just saw the screen flash there, post it to your 3D Swim community to get feedback from the rest of the team or from your students. So it's all integrated together. No more, hey, I need to take a screenshot of this. Create an email. Who do I have to address this email to? Oh, where did the screenshot go on my on my desktop, right? No more of that anymore. It's all in one central location, all integrated together. This one's pretty important. This is the platform connector. This is showing us starting in SOLIDWORKS desktop. I'm uploading this assembly to the platform directly from the SOLIDWORKS interface using the platform add-in. I'm now opening up the, the model I've uploaded to the platform in X shape first because I want to use the very cool sub D modeling. I'll just start with a basic shape, plop it in the middle there, select the control points, push and pull, move it around, get to the exact shape that I want. What's also a great benefit of X shape is I can create another shape and add it to help sub subtract or divide from the overall shape. And because I'm on the platform, it's really easy to just switch over to X design. And then I can use more of the advanced features in X-Design like I'd normally find in SOLIDWORKS desktop, which is patterning the shape, um, subtracting it, adding the fillets, adding the rounds, shelling the part, any of those typical parametric um, tools. Then once I have the, the part ready, I can go use the platform connector, go back to SOLIDWORKS desktop, use that 3D experience platform integrated pane within SOLIDWORKS desktop, drag over my part, and boom, it already mates to my assembly, and I'm ready to go. So that's the power of using both SOLIDWORKS desktop and the platform together. This, uh, like I said, is one of my personal favorites. This is Project Planner. This will help keep your students on time and, and up to date uh, with all the latest projects, so they'll never miss a deadline again. We're just creating a sample project here. And I'm adding the rest of my teammates to this. So it could be a student team project or it could be a teacher adding your, all of your students to this class project. We'll start with an empty schedule. Again, this is a, a brand new project that we're going to start planning. I can add milestones for this project. It could be a, a senior capstone presentation. It could be the first review, uh, whatever milestones that you want to track. Then you can start populating your project with subtasks saying how long each task should take, which one should go first. You can reorder, very easy to do. You can click and drag to create dependencies very easily, saying this task has to finish first before I start the next one. You can even click and modify the dependencies or even modify the task the details themselves. And this is really cool, what really helps keep everything all in one place. Part of Project Planner, you can create a specific 3D space, a specific online repository where all of the content and deliverables for these tasks will live. So you will never lose a, a file again. You can easily drag and drop from to do to in progress to let, the le to let the rest of the team know what you're working on. And then you can look at the summary view to see who's working on what, how many tasks does this person have, which ones I've already completed, which ones are to do, which ones are running late most importantly. And this really does help instill best practices in your students for project planning uh, when, they, when they graduate and enter the workforce. So that's a good overview of what's included inside of 3D Designer. You've got the collaborative business and industry innovator, all the collaboration tools, the backbone of the platform. You have your online uh, browser-based modeling tools of X Design and X Shape. You've got your SOLIDWORKS connector to go back and forth between the SOLIDWORKS desktop, the platform, back to desktop in, uh, in, uh, in both ways bilaterally. And then you have Project Planner. So that is, that is what uh, is included inside of 3D Designer. Now you may have seen on a previous slide, there were two other offers that are also included, uh, that are also um, available for purchase as well. The first of those is Project Collaborator, which includes a smaller subset of what's included in 3D Designer. And then there's something called 3D Experience Engineer, which has loads of roles and apps from, from several of our, of our brands within Dassault Systems. 
Now, both Project Collaborator and 3D Experience Engineer just launched last week. So they're new roles hot off the presses. Uh, if you have any questions about any of these three roles, Project Collaborator, 3D Designer, or 3D Experience Engineer, definitely contact your local SOLIDWORKS reseller to learn more about our entire 3D Experience portfolio for education. And just to give you a bit of information on Project Collaborator and 3D Experience Engineer, because we spent a lot of time today on 3D Designer, what's included in Project Collaborator? This is where you can connect, collaborate, and plan. So it includes the, the SOLIDWORKS connector to go bilaterally between desktop and platform. And it also includes the project planning app. So these are for people who love the collaborative power and simplicity and benefits of the platform. And we have those two apps included in Project Collaborator for you. Next up is 3D Experience Engineer. This is what I like to say is the best of the brands. As I mentioned, this um, has loads more brands than just SOLIDWORKS represented here. We have Katia, Delmia, Simulia, Anovia, even 3D Excite in the future. So this is for schools that want everything, CAD, simulation, CAM, manufacturing, uh, advanced collaboration, uh, photorealistic rendering, virtual reality reviews, and so much more. It also includes loads more features and workflows that are included in SOLIDWORKS Desktop Education Edition. So like I said, Dassault Systems has what, like 12 brands. So this is like the best of the brands is what we're calling 3D Experience Engineer. And again, should you have any questions about those uh, three portfolio, the, the three experience portfolio of those three offers, please reach out to your SOLIDWORKS reseller. And just to give you a little bit of, uh, of a teaser of what's included inside that 3D Experience uh, uh, Engineer package, which is the largest one that we have for education, we have loads of roles and apps coming from Katia, which you know is the advanced um, uh, part design and surface design roles and apps from our portfolio. Uh, you also have advanced electrical wiring and routing, a photorealistic virtual reality reviews, and so much more. Coming from Simulia, this is your complete set of uh, simulation analysis tools to help improve a uh, part or product performance. You've got crash tests, structural analysis, uh, stress analysis as well of individual components, aerodynamic simulations, advanced fluid dynamic simulations as well. And then coming from Delmia, we have advanced machining roles and apps to help you rapid prototype your custom parts. That's two and a half axis, uh, three and four axis machining uh, to help you easily define tool paths and bring your part to life. So these three slides I just went over, Katia, Simulia, Delmia, and so much more are included in that 3D Experience Engineer offer. But as, you, as you've seen over the last several slides, the platform is so much more than just CAD. You have your 3D dashboard, which is your, which is your customizable interface for you to have all of your important content right at your fingertips. You've got online cloud storage within 3D Drive and 3D Space. But you also have uh, several apps and tools for admins as well. So for the educators, we have a control center for you to add and remove students to your platform and grant the roles of the platform. You also have user groups where you can easily create a user group per class and then message the class all at once or have all of your class added to the same community all at once. So really easy tools for admins to manage their students. And the main benefit of all of this is that it's all in the same user interface as your CAD tool. So you learn one interface for the platform and boom, you can do everything, CAD, collaboration, and so much more. So it's all in the same user interface. So to recap some of the benefits of the 3D Experience platform beyond SOLIDWORKS CAD, well, all your files are in the cloud. So you'll never lose them again. So they're all kept there nice and secure. And it comes complete with versioning, which again is really important, especially as students graduate and enter the workforce in the real world, to help instill the, the version control um, uh, while, while you're teaching them and while they're completing your projects. Uh, next up, we have all the collaboration in real time, all your notifications, everything on any device, smartphones, tablets, Chromebooks, you name it. 
We have the advanced sub D or subdivision organic modeling with an X shape, which again is 100% browser based all in the cloud, which both X shape and X design are browser based, all modeling in the cloud. All you need is an internet connection, which is why it's really cool to be able to have access to the platform on any device, wherever that inspiration hits. Next up is the design guidance powered by artificial intelligence as part of X design to help you create parts that you couldn't even imagine or think up of yourself. That would be a, a, a stronger performing part. And then finally, there's machine learning inside X design to help you with suggestions for designing your parts to help accelerate the designing process. This could be adding a sketch or several sketches uh, within a single sketch that, uh, that have similar attributes. So you don't have to sketch 60 circles all at once. It'll do all that for you. Same thing with like adding a fillet to a fan blade where you have like 70 different edges that you have to click on to add a fillet. Just click on one edge, a little pop-up comes up that says, oh, we've noticed 69 other edges that you might want to add this fillet to. Click yes, and then boom, all at once, all the fillets are added. So those are some of the benefits. There's more, but those are some of the top ones of the platform beyond SolidWorks CAD. And when you do purchase the platform, it's again, all browser-based, really easy to get to. You can just go to solidworks.com slash academic dash cloud. And then with your 3D experience username, your login and password from any device, you can log into the platform and have all of your content, your dashboards, communities, X design, X shape, and so much more right at your fingertips. So that's the main website to bookmark to get to your platform every time. Now I mentioned uh, very briefly on the default dashboard that comes with every purchase of the 3D Experience platform for education, there's that dedicated community tab. Now there's the dedicated community for educators, which I'm calling out here. And this is your single location for all 3D Experience support, best practices, technical support, and so much more. You do have to have a 3D Experience login to access this community for educators. And one of the reasons why I'm calling this out is because there's a handout that's added to this webinar that you can click on to learn more information about this dedicated community for teachers to come to, to learn about the platform and learn about what other teachers are doing that they've been able to, um, some of their best practices that they've been able to implement so you can learn all that and more. Okay, so that's a good, uh, a good wrap up of what the 3D Experience platform is and the benefits uh, available to you. I'll go ahead and end my section on our certification program and my SolidWorks, which are two big uh, benefits of, of purchasing um, our, uh, our portfolio, our education portfolio from SolidWorks. So what certifications are available to you? Well, the loads here, as you see, more than just the CSWA and CSWP. And we actually now have uh, 3D experience certifications available as well. That just came online a couple weeks ago. And why are certifications important? Well, it helps your students and uh, better their job skills, which helps them open up doors either for internships throughout their schooling or either even full-time positions after they graduate. Uh, our SolidWorks certifications are the most recognized CAD certification by hiring CAD managers. So it's really good to have that on your resume. It is a uniform measure of, of SOLIDWORKS skills for both students and professionals alike because the exam is the same, so it's a level playing field. So it's really cool to, as a student, say, I have you know, certified SOLIDWORKS professional um, uh, a badge. And then you can put that on your resume and it's the same badge that the pros in the industry would receive. And as you saw on the previous slide, there's more than just CSWA and CSWP. Um, and you can easily request those. And I'll, I'll show you uh, in just a couple slides uh, about how you can sign up to be an administrator. This slide just shows you uh, at any given point, this uh, snapshot was taken, I believe, mid-April of this year. At any given point throughout the world, the number of SOLIDWORKS jobs available. So throughout the US, there's over 7,000, and around the world, there's over 36,000 available SOLIDWORKS jobs. So it's really important to have those certifications on your resume to help get yourself to the top of that list. Now, what does the exam look like? 
Well, the focus is on solid modeling, uh, engineering concepts, assembly design, mating. So here's a, a snapshot of some test questions so you can kind of see what the exam looks like. And if you're interested in administering the exam for our educators on the call, uh, the process is you first need to be a CSWA provider to administer the exam. Some of the requirements are that your school needs to be on current subscription and must have the minimum license counts for your geo. Most geos are a minimum of 60. And a simple URL to follow to learn more about administering the exam, just go to solidworks.com slash CSWA-academic and look for the quick links on the, on the side of the, of the website to apply and learn more. And you will need your instructor, uh, as an instructor, you will need your SOLIDWORKS EDU serial number. That starts in 9710. And for our, our educators on the call, uh, if you'd like to learn more about certification program or actually a, a, a great workflow chart to follow to become an administrator and, ed, and ed, then administer the exams, both of these documents are super helpful and available from your local SOLIDWORKS reseller. So I talked about the plat, I talked about desktop, talked about the platform, mentioned certification. Where can you go to learn about all this stuff? Well, mysolidworks.com is your one-stop shop. We have over a thousand hours of free content for students. And that content is more than SolidWorks. It also has 3D Experience platform content on there as well. Loads of videos and learning paths for you to follow. But most importantly, My SolidWorks goes hand in hand with certification. You can uh, look at videos and help prep for your CSWA and CSWP exams while you're actually learning how to use the tools as well. This next slide is really important. Um, this is how can your students sign up for My SolidWorks? Well, we have a simple video, which is really easy to follow, and you can just Google search uh, My SolidWorks for students. In that first video link, watch that. It's a couple minutes long, and it'll help you guide you through this process. And your students first need a 9020 serial number to sign up. Now, why is that important? Without that 9020 serial number, anybody can create a MySolidWorks account. That's free, and you get access to some of the content. But as your students, they need that serial number to unlock all of the professional level content as well. So that's why it's important for them to get that number from you as your educator so they can sign up for My SolidWorks, get access to those over 1,000 hours of videos and tutorials. Great. So with that, that concludes my section. I'd like to hand it over to Sarah to talk about curriculum. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Brian. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about a curriculum. This is a value add to um, your uh, uh, license uh, for SolidWorks desktop. So for curriculum, all the instructor curriculum is available for download from our What's New in Education website that Brian had mentioned earlier on in the presentation. And you can reach that by going to solidworks.com slash edu launch. And then just scroll down the page to the curriculum and lesson session, a se a section, excuse me, that you can see right here on my screen. We have two pieces of premium curriculum. Uh, and those are noted here in, in the red uh, rectangles, and they are called the Fundamentals of uh, 3D Design and Simulation and the Fundamentals of SolidWorks Electrical. Again, these um, this is premium content, so uh, the curriculum is only available to customers that are on active subscription. The rest of the curriculum that you see in this screenshot is available for all customers uh, to download. So to actually download this premium content, you would select the download button, which will take you to this particular window. Um, the customers that are an active subscription should click on the link, the customer portal link that's outlined in red. Um, you will have to log into the customer portal and you can find the information under the download section. Um, again, they are uh, PDFs that you can download. They are non-reproducible PDFs, but you can share them um, with your students. You can also order hard copies of this guide uh, through your local reseller. 
Uh, for those that are not on active subscription and would like to see a sample of this content, you can go over to this blue button here and download media, and you'll be able to see the first couple of chapters um, of the guide um, for your uh, reference. So student curriculum. Student curriculum is actually found um, from within the product and will be available um, on or before June 5th, 2020. So a student can navigate uh, to the design library and then to SOLIDWORKS content and then on to SOLIDWORKS curriculum. I also want to note that uh, model files are included with all of this content or um, they're included within the guide and you'll find a link to the um, model files. So one of our goals is to provide our educators with valuable and relevant teaching resources. And one way to do this is through our curriculum. So we're encouraging all the educators that are on this webinar to complete this very brief survey. Um, it should take you no more than five minutes. Uh, your feedback will help us to create the curriculum that is best needed in your classroom and for your students. So I strongly encourage you to go to this link and complete the survey. Uh, I'll also provide this link in the uh, post uh, webinar um, email that you will receive. All your feedback would be greatly appreciated. So lastly, I want to mention social media. Uh, we really encourage the um, everyone on the webinar to take a look at our education blog. Uh, you can find that on our website. Uh, to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This is really the best way for you to get the most up-to-date information, uh, information on webinars that we might be holding, uh, and uh, just a great way to uh, interact and communicate with our teacher and student community.